Alex, thanks for talking to us. Was that exactly what you were looking for from that test? Yeah, it was. It's everything that we needed and it's why we selected the fixture. We came up against what will be a really good League One club who moved the ball really effectively in a system that we're going to encounter a lot this season, the 3-5-2, so it was picked for that reason. Um, we got all the challenges out of the game that we'd, we'd hoped we'd get and we were really pleased with many aspects of the way that we dealt with uh, their attacking play. Um, could have done a lot better with the ball, um, but we're very confident that will come with time and work out on the training pitch. So many of the things we were looking for we got and that's why we feel it's been a really beneficial game. What were the most pleasing aspects for you then in that one? Just the real shape and desire to stop the ball going into our net. We obviously had a lot of pressure to withstand, and certainly territory-wise, not chance-wise, in that first 25 minutes. Um, and we kept our shape really well and limited them to getting around us rather than through us, um, which was pleasing. Um, and we showed lots of desire, as I say, to, to defend our goal and defend our box. And you're going to have spells in games throughout every game of the season, some more than most, where you're going to have to do those things. Um, because it then gives you a platform to, to go on and, and win the game at the other end of the pitch. So that was the most pleasing aspect, as I say. We need to do much better with the ball, particularly in the first half. As the game opened up in the second half, we tried to show uh, much more life in and around that final third and had opportunities to score if we were a bit more clinical and chose the right option. Um, but yeah, those were the key things, really. Would you say you learnt a lot more then today than you have in the previous three games so far? Oh yeah, absolutely, because you challenge more and uh, you can get plenty out of the games that we played previously in the Nantwich game and the, and the Kids Grove game, uh, Maxfield game as well for the young boys that played in that. Um, but these games are obviously more reflective of the tempo and the intensity you're going to experience in, in the Football League. Um, so those games give you opportunities to practice your patterns with the ball. These types of games, West Brom will be the same and Rotherham will give us plenty of opportunity to practice um, having a good sound defensive shape without the ball and with the opportunities that we do up the pitch, do have up the pitch, being more clinical and, and, and choosing better. And then finally, it must have been great to get some minutes back into Joel Tavern who's just returned from injury. Yeah, it's good for Joel, good for all the young boys to, to experience a game against the level of opposition that we've had today. Um, he's worked hard to get to the point where he can rejoin us now. It's been a long old slog for him. The injury's taken a lot longer than any of us would have hoped it would have to clear up. He's had quite severe bruising on his foot. Uh, and he came on and, and looked well. The Jolly's going to be a good player. Uh, and like all those young players, you know, these experiences during the pre-season against these, these types of clubs that we're coming up against will, will bode well for them before they either push on and you know, really force themselves into our squad or more likely over this next 12 months, plenty of them will gain some more competitive experience going out on loan. So, yeah, good to see him back.